and uh, I only have to do three sides so what I might do is speed this up once it's um, I think you need a sharper needle than this <laughs> but I'm using this because it's easy on my hands that's basically all it's the only reason why I'm using this one Right now I'm just going to give it an overstitch at that end Now before I um, stuff that, I'm just going to pin this one down, my glue gun ready, and by that I'm just popping the glue over the thread and then bring the thread back on itself and press that into the glue again and that will protect that and stop that from that's it, that won't come undone now. Um, <coughs> yeah, now before I stuff it, um, I want to cover this and um, I'm going to use this new fabric. So, this was the curtain material that I bought from the car boot at the weekend so like that and take all them strands off let me just move that in slightly because I'm going to do that and then what I'm going to do is chop this Pull this forward. I don't want it on the back, I just want it on the front of the cushion. And that, I'm not sure that that, yeah, that's more or less where I want it like that okay I'm going to be putting a back panel on it so all I now have to do is to glue that down
so just fold it over really neat and we've still got the opening here which when I've stuffed it but I've got that on neat that's really neat that now so now what I'm going to do is to stuff it how I want it done and then um, do that end so I'm just going to get the wadding Oh, because I don't want it too full, not, you know, we're not doing that. So just pop, just shred it a little bit to even it out so we don't want any lumps in it or anything like that. And then just pop that inside, poke that down into the corners. Yeah, that's quite nice that actually. I don't want it too big. That's a nice thing. That's nice. Okay. What I am going to do is to glue this end in. And all you do, press that down. Flat as you can. Like that. Do the same with these. Oops, today they don't want that on there. Again, we're just going to put that corner in just to hold it in place. And then we fold that over like that and there we've got and we can move it about a little padded cushion like that there we go that's quite nice not too big I mean I could leave it like that but I will be putting um, a panel on there and uh, in order to do that I need to cut another piece of fabric and the way I'm going to measure that is uh, sorry if my voice is really low but I did nothing wrong I'm, uh, I'm just quiet <laughs> is to just measure for the piece I've already got like that um, and this as well I want to keep that level with that I'll just give myself a little bit more leeway the this end and that end uh, and then what we do is we just glue that in place I'm just gonna make sure that it's not too out of shape I mean these are so easy to make and I think we need half an inch turn over like so like that So that'll be on there like that and again not quite as much on the other side I think that will do fine mm. 
if I'd have got the sewing machine out, it'd have been a lot quicker than that, but you know, that will do. I'm quite fine with that. And then all I have to do is attach that to there now. So I'm just going to do the edge of this first. Sorry, push that in. Just sorry about that. Push that in, that's it. Like that. And then all you do is you can go around all the edges and just fill that in. Like that. There's an edge that needs filling in. That one's fine. And that's fine. And there you go. I've got a nice covered um, cushion. And now I can decorate that. And I'm going to get some lace to do that with. Um, which lace? Huh. Well, I do have some of the... Um, now, I'm not sure if this is going to work. So, let me see. Now, let's have a look. I bought some of this duet type material. And I know that's floral as well, but I wanted a piece of it just for this to go down one side. Um, and what I'm going to do is now fray that. Just fraying the edges a bit. And it's like a shabby chic pattern duet. That's it. And I just want this, like I say, to... Oh, God, get that off. I want it to hang over the edge there. I just want to pop that on like that and shabby sheet this end up a bit more. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me just see which. I want to make sure I get the right way. Yeah, I think I will mm, I don't know whether to do it No, I like that I'm going to do that So I'm just going to make sure That that meets that end Pull that flat and press that on like so that's really pretty and I'm just going to do a double layer of that <sighs> 
Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see what I am doing. Let me just try and move some rubbish. <laughs> I'm just doing another, about a centimetre above that one. Doing a double layer of that and then press that on and pull it because you want it to make sure it lays flat. Yeah, that's really nice. And then we'll cut this. So I've got the mix panel which now I'm going to keep like that and like that now what I do have um, I managed to get these today and I bought them in one of the second hand shops and I'll show you what I managed to get and they're absolutely brilliant so I managed to get so many of those metal buttons so many of those large buttons but then I found those and I absolutely loved them so I'm going to put three on of those. Um, and I'm going to put them here. So I do need to take the backs off. When I can find my cutters, my pliers. What did I do with my pliers? Oh, don't know. I had them. Here they are. That straight string. Ugh. I know you can use the thing to get it off, but so that's that. That's that. And that's that one. So I'm just gonna place one right there. Sorry, I do hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I was going to stop the film, but there's no point. One. Right there. And one. Right there. I just absolutely love them. I know it's like a mixed media cushion. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the picture that I'm going to put on. Uh, and I've got part of a doily as well. Now I'm not sure which doily I'm going to use, but we shall see. Now, I have the square one. I wouldn't put on the square anyway. No, I don't like that one. I mean, I like it, but I don't want that one that one but then you're not gonna oh, i don't know that's quite nice or oh, that one no nope. no 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 do you remember the one i i showed on the bag half a bag that i i'd put it on so i have that one and oh yeah i like that and you can actually see the material through it or oh, no don't like that one wrong color I might put this one on. Now, do I want... I'm just filming. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let me just see. That's a bit long, that one. Let me just see if there's another one that I'd like to use. No. No, I like this one. So, I'm going to put this one on when I want it to go. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I do like that. I think it really looks pretty. But I will cut this, I think. No, I'm not. I won't cut it. <sighs> I 
Now we just need to pin that down there. And then I also need to pin that down there. And then what I do, um, what I've got is this, and it's like um, it's like a binding. You can actually use it to edge your projects with, you know, um, whatever it is you're making. But I, I like it like that, so I'm going to put it on on there. I think I've either got that one or use a different colour. Not sure about either of those, <laughs> but hold on, I do have others. I have this one. Oh, I like that, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, dokie, we're going to do that. So I'm just going to follow the contour of that band like that, and that will seal them to together and stop that doily coming out so I'm just going to flick that off do you know even though I've got a not sure not sure about that but let's have a look now Remember the material pictures. So I've got that one, that one, that one, oh, that I like that one, I think. Which I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is cut it out, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut it. To be honest, I'm not gonna say. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. Gonna cut that out. Um, we need to pin that down. Sorry, let's pin that down. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put her there. There. I'm gonna put her there. Yep. And I'm just gonna glue that in. Okay, I'll flip that around, glue that on, um, and then I'm just going to do some uh, flowers. Now, I don't know whether I want actual flowers on or whether I'm going to. put that flower on that was made me I actually like that there no no I made this myself you nana <laughs> I think yeah I'm not sure whether I, that's what I want no it's too big too big I must have smaller one wait a minute right I'm just gonna make a flower to be honest um because I don't want it too big 
there you go um, I'll join these two together you see right I'm just gonna stitch my um, flower or make my flower should I say get going with this I'm not sure how big I'm gonna have it now I know a lot of people bang heaps and heaps of laces on them I don't I don't want that and as you know I mean I haven't finished with it yet I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I know that this is what I wanted to use the button I saw the buttons and I thought yeah I've said I'm gonna do a cushion um, and I'm gonna do it my style not anybody else's this is you know a lot of people bang a lot of uh, laces on and there's whole, dozens of things on them and <sighs> and that's everybody's you know to their own taste but me personally I like them when they're just elegant I like to be able to see everything that I've done. That's that. Where's my cream flowers? Here's one. That's much better. I prefer that. Let's put that on there like that. And I've got some of these. And I'm just going to pop that in there. Another one there. And then I've just got these three left, which hopefully I'm going to pop on this section here. See, that's what I've got uh, so far. I don't want to 
overdo it so what I'm going to do now is just a couple of bits with that lady um, I do want to put something in her hair and I've got a little tiny pink flower here now the problem is I've put it onto my um, one of my blings that I make so I'm just going to try and get that off but it's perfect for her hair like that uh, and then what I do have somewhere if it's in that one or the other one maybe maybe the other one some small bling hmm tell you what I've got as well I've got that that was gifted to me I think that was no, I can't remember who sent me that oh sorry you know who you are um I'm just useless you know I am I just want to get a little bit of chain I think there we go got a little bit of pink and I have got a little bit of pink look but I keep everything because you never know when you're going to need it and that is perfect to go in the hair there and I'll, I've broke that down even more now <laughs> see if I just show you that doesn't that make that look pretty so much better now I don't know whether I want to because I don't want to go over the top what do you think we can go a little bit special can't we so I'm just going to clip that and take that end off as well And then just swing this round while I work it. And I'm going to pop that on there. Like that. I like that. Yeah. Right, I I need like a bouquet of flowers. She needs a bouquet of flowers. So what I've got. I'm going to follow what she's got, I think. So she has like a nice flower there. Why do I need that? Yeah, she can be in a bed of flowers. I'm not going to use the pink adult thing. I'm going to use the cream ones that I've got and a little a paler pink one. There's a couple of paler pink ones and a couple of creamy ones. So I'm going to pop one there. Pop the paler pink. I think I'll keep that one as is. Pop one in there. Oops, I've just thrown them away. Pop one there. Pop one here. And I'm just going to get some more. 
they're not quite what I wanted. One in there. Um, now I've got little bits and pieces of fabric, and I want some of this, I think. See my material. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop that there. And there and then what I'm going to do is just to fold that in like that and then poke that just underneath like that cut another piece Just give it a good pleat. They're just little uh, bits of lace that I want added in. I didn't want to use an applique or anything like that. I've no need to because my laces can do the same job that I want the appliques to do and I would rather have a bit of lace showing than anything else to be honest. Sorry I hope you're seeing this. I hope you've seen all of this. So as you can see I'm not actually using that much, um, they're just bits of half a doily a piece of bling a bit of you know you can make something quite pretty and you don't need to bang loads and loads of uh, things on it and i've also got a couple of these flowers which i'm gonna put in We slot that in there. Let me just pop that in there like that. in there and I think we've got one more to pop in here just gonna see if I've got any more of those
Oh, wrong colour. I've got some, but they're the wrong colour. Well, never mind. Oh, found some. Found some. And I found some really tiny ones as well. Sorry if this is taking so long. I don't really mean to keep you. Okay, let's get rid of that. I cut them here and then I just bend the stem in and then they can slot in wherever I need them to slot. Like, I want one there. And then one just in there. <coughs> I like a good mixture of flowers uh, and then what I've found are some really tiny ones that I can just fill in here and there just a little dot of a uh, flower one there One here, one on that petal there, one just there, could have used that on a hair as well. One there, and cut a couple for up the top end as well. On there, so you can tell I've got a doily on there. Uh, you can see the beautiful buttons. Yes, they're dark. I'm not bothered about that. Not fussed at all. Uh, let's just put one here, right there. Yeah, one more. I think. Gonna put one of those in as well. Just in there, like that on that side, and then I'm gonna pop one of these little flowers and attach it to that there. And I think this one will go on that corner there. And I, I, I just like that. I think that's really, it's different to the normal ones. Um, but there you go. So I hope you like that. And uh, I will put the video up in two parts, to be honest. It'll be quicker to load. Um, just going to put one of these in here. Just to break up them three, and I'm going to pop that just there, and I might put one just on this side as well, in there, like that. What I like about this is the contrast of those, I mean I could tone them down. Uh, but you know what? I don't want to. I prefer it like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.